Welcome to Brooklyn Middle School. My name is Allison Billet. This is eighth grade civics and economics. So last class, we were talking about the Constitution. And I actually blew your mind and told you we have how many constitutions? 27. Wait, hold on. We have 27 amendments. We have two constitutions. Raise your hand and tell me, what are the two different constitutions? Let me hear from Soraya. The Virginia Got the Virginia Constitution. Help her out. What's the second one, Eden? The United States Constitution, okay? So we started talking about the preamble. Raise your hand and remind me, what's the preamble? Jordan, thank you. The introduction to the Constitution. Which one? The U.S. Good. The U.S. Constitution has the introduction. It's called the preamble. For your warm-up today, I need everybody, drop the U.S. or the Virginia Constitution. I need everybody to go to Schoology. Take out your computer, please, if you have not already. You have a five-question quick check to tell me what you remember about the preamble. It's in the marking period one folder on Schoology. If you do not have your computer today, please raise your hand so I can give you a paper version. Yes, ma'am, I'll be right there. Five question quick check on the preamble. Remind me what you know about what we did last class. Please don't talk. I want to see what you know, not what your neighbor knows. Yes, ma'am. Did you go to Schoology? Okay. Logging in. I guess the marking period one folder. Okay, go to courses. That's my course. Marking period one. And it'll be the very bottom. I'm going to give you about two more minutes. It's just five questions. This is just a quick check to see where we are, to see if you remember anything about the preamble. Yes, ma'am. Which of the five fundamental principles best represented by the first three words? Do you remember what are the first three words of the Constitution? It starts with we, the, yeah, we the people. Which of those fundamental principles says the people give the power? Good, put that, okay? Good job. So if I call your name, if I draw your name, you can phone a friend. If you need some assistance and you don't know the answer, especially if you weren't here last class, you can phone a friend for help. But I want to hear for question number one, which document contains the preamble? Let me hear from Ayana. She's got it. We just talked about that. It's the US Constitution. Oh, wait a second. I just gave it away. Which Constitution? US. Now, if you didn't write US, that's OK. But I need you to make sure you know that. The US Constitution has the preamble. Question number two. The preamble to the Constitution lists six goals, including which of the following? So let me hear from <coughs> Ramat. Ramat, which of the following? Is it to keep people off welfare, to ensure domestic tranquility, to decide who can be a Supreme Court justice, or to decrease federal power? You said A. Let's see, hold on, who else has an idea? Soraya, what do you think? B. B, what does B say? To ensure domestic tranquility. Remind me, Ramat, what does domestic tranquility mean? Do you remember? Tranquility. What did we say? Help him out, Alana. Peace at home. Peace at home. Remember, we talked about that this morning. Peace at home, good job, okay? Number three, which of the five fundamental principles of government best represented, is best represented by the first three words of the preamble? So remember, don't forget about those five fundamental principles. We learned about them. Let me hear from someone I haven't heard from yet. Asia, which one do you think it is? Limited government, representative government, consent of the governed, or rule of law? C, she said consent of the governed. Thumbs up if you agree. Yes, because what does consent of the governed mean? Go ahead, Eric. The people give permission to the government. The people give permission. Here you go, government. We're going to give you a little bit of permission. Here you go. Last question. Oh, we have two more questions. What document was written with this stated purpose? So if you looked at the actual snapshot, it says the stated purpose, in order to form a more perfect union. Which document tells me we need to have a more perfect union? What do you say, Jordan? The Constitution. I like it. He said the U.S. Constitution. Does anybody remember what document did we have before the U.S. Constitution that was not good? Vincent? Articles of Confederation. 
He said the Articles of Confederation. Why was that one not good? Help him out, Sarai. Because the states were like their own little country. Every state was its own little country. And that was not unified. We didn't have a union. So we needed to form a more perfect union with this. Last question, what is the main purpose of the preamble to the US Constitution? Options are A, to express the reasons why the Constitution was written, to explain why the Articles of Confederation was written, to apologize to Great Britain for making a new government, or to warn the president not to become a dictator. Who can answer that one for us, please? Let me hear from Alana. A, a she said to express the reasons the Constitution was written. Very good. If you didn't do well on that, don't worry. It's just your warm up. By the end of class today, we're going to have a better handle on the preamble. So for now, we're going to switch gears, though, and we're going to talk about the opposite end of the Constitution. The preamble comes at the beginning. What comes at the end? Raise your hand if you can remember. Go ahead, Vincent. The Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. I love that. And the Bill of Rights is what? Jordan? Um, the amendments. The first 10 amendments. So we're going to talk about the amendment process. We started talking about this last class. I need everybody, if you have not already taken out notes number three, please go in your binder, take out notes number three and your green vocabulary paper. Notes number three and your green vocab paper. Keep your head up, please. Yes. All right, so I'm going to ask you guys to sing a song with me. Last class, we learned on notes number three, and I'm on the back of notes number three. We learned all about the amendment process. What's an amendment? Help us out. Let me hear from someone I haven't heard from. And if you don't know, you can look on your notes. Let me hear from Ryan. Ryan, what's an amendment, sweetie? You got notes number three? Check on the back and tell me, what is an amendment? Other side. Hold on, I want to see if Ryan can get it. What's an amendment? He's got it. He said, any change to the Constitution. As much as I love this document, remember, we had a birthday party for this document last week. I love it so much. It's not perfect. Sometimes we need to change it. So if we need to change it, we have to have a process. And it says it right here in Article 5. If you ever need to change me, here's how you're going to do it. So in order for you to remember, I'm going to sing for you. You ready? Hold on. <coughs> Me, 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 me. Okay, let me warm up. Here's the song. I'm going to sing it once, and then we're going to go over the words together, and you guys are going to sing it with me. You ready? It goes like this. <clears throat> this is how we amend the Constitution. This is how we amend the Constitution. This is how we amend the Constitution. This is how we do it. Congress proposed, the states ratify. Congress proposed, the states ratify. Congress proposed, the states ratify. This is how we do it. Propose means to ask, amend means change. Propose means to ask, amend means change. Propose means to ask, amend means change. Ratify means approve it. This process is very complex. This process is very complex. This process is very complex. This is how we do it. Y'all can clap now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so the look on your faces is, is priceless. Y'all are so embarrassed for me. but. Now, I'm going to ask you to embarrass yourselves a little bit, too. If we all do it, there's no reason to be embarrassed. So I'm going to teach you the words. You're going to repeat after me. And they're going to stay up here so you can use this. First part says, this is how we amend the Constitution. This is how we amend the Constitution. And then we say, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Congress propose, the states ratify. Congress propose, the states ratify. You got to pause a little bit. Congress propose, the states ratify, OK? This is how we do it. Propose means to ask, amend means change. Ratify means approve it. This process is very complex. This is how we do it. You guys ready? OK. Five, six, seven, eight. This is how we amend the Constitution. This is how we amend the Constitution. This is how we amend the Constitution. This is how we do it. Congress proposed, the states ratify. Congress proposed, 
The states ratify, Congress propose. The states ratify, this is how we do it. Propose means to ask, amend means change. Propose means to ask, amend means change. Propose means to ask, amend means change. Ratify means approve it. This process is very complex. This process is very complex. This process is very complex. This is how we do it. Y'all just won. That was the best out of all my classes. That was really good. So I'm going to put it to the test. I'm going to give everybody one of these little half sheets of paper. And if you notice, there are four different strips on this paper. Do not cut anything out until we have gone over the directions because the directions are on the back. Eventually, we're going to cut them out. Well, let's go over the directions first. So I'm going to give every row one yeah, of these. Actually, that would be wonderful. Would you please help me pass that out? Thank you. If you notice, under your desk, everybody should have a red piece of construction paper. Go ahead and take that out as well, please. So we're talking about the amendment process. And there are two steps to the amendment process. What are my two steps? Ramat, we grab that, please? Think about, we talked about when a man falls in love with a woman and he's going to get down on one knee. What's he going to do, Eric? Propose. The proposal. <laughs> you OK? Why you got it? OK, you got it? There we go. And gr Jordan, grab that piece of red paper under your desk, please. So proposal is the first step. And then what does the woman say if she's saying yes? Let me hear from somebody new. Oh, Vincent. Vincent, what's the second step? Well, the second step is vote. Not vote. What is Ratify. it? Ratify. There we go. Proposal and ratification. They have to go in order. The lady can't say, oh, yes, I'll marry you, if he didn't even ask yet. That's embarrassing, right? So proposal and then ratification. In order for you to show me that you understand these steps, we're going to do a foldable. So you have a piece of construction paper, and you have this paper here. Flip it over on the back, and let's read about this. Can I have a volunteer read the directions, please? Let me hear from Alana. Go ahead. Great. Can you tell us step number one, please? Go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Fold your paper into four hamburger sides. Now, we all remember from elementary school, hamburger and hot dog. And I know this seems a little bit elementary, but right now you just follow my directions, and then you're going to have to show me that you understand the amendment process. So first, fold it like this, hamburger. There we go. Look, I'm making you sing today. I'm making you do foldables. We're taking it back to elementary for a minute. Nostalgia, exactly. OK, here's where I need you guys to show me what you know. On your white strip of paper, on the white piece of half paper, you're going to cut out those four strips. And they have the steps for proposal and ratification for the US Constitution and the Virginia Constitution. So let's label, before we cut, let's label on the top of our foldable. For the USA side, you need to put propose and ratify. And for the Virginia side, you're going to put propose and ratify. So when you have your paper flat like this, and you see your four columns, it's going to look just like that. Propose, ratify, propose, ratify, exactly like you see on the board. So open it up like this. VA, Virginia. Very good. And you can write it pretty big. Now, you do not have to cut each of these little teeny tiny pictures out. You're just going to cut the four strips. And then you have to tell me where do they go. Who proposes for the US Constitution? Who ratifies? Don't say it, Vincent, because this is a little assessment where I want to see what you know. So don't say it out loud. I want you to see it. Here you go. Yes. And now that you're thinking about it, why did Miss Billet stand up there and make a fool out of herself singing? Oh, because you need to remember the words to that song. Mm -mm, propose, mm -mm, ratify, mm -mm, propose, mm -mm, ratify. Four strips. They look like this. You've got four of these, and you're going to put them underneath the appropriate column. So you've got to tell me for the USA who proposes and who ratifies. Now, we talked about Virginia last class, 
and I gave you guys a trick to help you remember in VA the who proposes. Eric? Yeah, how do you remember that? What's my trick? In VA, the GA proposes. And then they say, okay, Miss Billet, you are not smart enough to ever touch the US Constitution. But do they let me have a role in the amendment of the Virginia Constitution? Yeah. yeah. What do I get to do? For what? What's the second step? You said it. What is it, Ariana? Ratify. They let the voters ratify. Say, okay, Miss Billet, you're not smart enough to touch the US Constitution. I know. But they let me have a role in ratifying the Virginia Constitution. So think about that. Beautiful. Yes? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on one second. I'm a voter, right? Am I ever going to be smart enough to touch the US Constitution? No, I'm a pretty smart lady, but I'm not smart enough to touch the U.S. Constitution. So who's going to ratify for the U.S.? Not the voters. Look at that one again. Thank you so much for coming to Brooklyn and watching our lesson on the amendment process. We enjoyed having you. Go, Go